to the CS Innovators quiz app. Uh, part one, we built the user interface. Part two here, we're gonna build, we're gonna do uh, a bunch of the, the block coding here. So we're here in the blocks. So we're gonna initialize a new, we, we wanna make a couple of lists here. So we're gonna start off, when we, we make a list in Thunkable, we have to actually start off with a variable, which we'll name the, the name of our list. This will be our question list. And then when we get the list uh, block from the list uh, category, we have three questions, so we'll need three blocks, but we, we don't want the numbers, so we gotta take the numbers out. And we gotta put in a couple text blocks, so I'm gonna do this a quick way. I'm just gonna duplicate these, so I don't have to go back into the, the drawers there. Um, hopefully you have access to the questions, because then you can just copy and paste them in, so I don't have to... Um, yeah, it'll be a lot easier if we just copy and paste them in. So, three questions. Copy. Paste it in. Alrighty. Um, let's see what else we need to do here. We need to, because we, we've got a, a, uh, a list, we're going to need to navigate through the list. We do that by creating an index variable, which we want to set to 1. This one off at one. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. And then we want to think about when the when the, the app opens. We'll have screen one essentially opening. We want a couple things to happen here, uh, which is one is we want to set the question label text to the first item in the list. So we'll get this, the question label text out, and then we'll uh, we need a specific block here. It's in the list, we gotta pull this out because we need to get the first question in the question list. That's what we want the question label to be. So we have to go there and we have to grab the app index. When it opens, remember the app will be the index will be one, which is this first question, which should pop up in the question text. And we also do this funny thing that I, I highly suggest you do, which is to add a, a label that always tells you what the value of the index is, and it will help you with debugging to see, so you can see where things, where the, the value of the index variable, whether it's lining up with the questions and images and whatnot. And the last thing we're gonna do in this part is we wanna build our next button. So when the next button is clicked, we want a couple things to happen. Is one, we wanna iterate, we wanna increase the value of the index. So let's see here, so set. The index, so I'll get, pull this one out even though it doesn't say index, we find it by doing this, and then we'll get a math block here because we want to add one to, we want to set the new value to be whatever the old value is plus one, so we got to get the old value there plus one. And we want to make sure the question label it changes, but you know what, we're going to do this the easy way, we're just going to copy it from here rather than rebuilding it, and we're going to copy that one from here. So what this will do is when the next button is clicked, the we're going to set the new value new new value of the index to the old value plus one, and we'll set the question label index label to the new values that come up. Alrighty, that's part two. Uh, it's your basic coding. There's a bunch more to come.